Ned. <clears throat> Ned, Ned here. Hi, Ned. Hey. You seem to have your camera on, but it's blank. I do. Like you've got a Maybe plastic cover on your camera. Yeah, I have a privacy thing. Do you need to see my face? I don't need to see your face. I just wondered why you were transmitting, you know, zero bits to us. <laughs> maybe, you know, maybe the universe, you need, had some extra zero bits and you need to get rid of them. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, are bits really free? I, don't know. I, I you know, I, I, I was going to ask the IMF to look at the balance of trade of electrons. <laughs> It, is one side of the earth well so so someone did a, an experiment and actually did prove that hard drive weighs more when it has information on it than when it's randomly uh uh has random data on it you're kidding it. me seriously no it, it it really is the case and and actually there's a, some serious serious suggestion that some of the dark matter out there could be in the form of information oh wow that's just yeah i interesting idea, right? find that kind of suspect but um apparently the some of the orders of magnitude stuff are correct it's just what is it stored in i don't know but hmm. um it does make you think of i don't know makes me think of doctor who yeah right because there was that guy adric who could uh do math in his head and cause you know things to appear hmm. anyway Dave, you are here. Andrew, you are here. Hank, I have you know? things. Ah, uh, yes. Hank says he wants the link. It's the same one as always, Hank. Let me give you the link. I am here, but not necessarily awake yet. Oh, well, still um, working on that part. Okay, it's still well, early. I, I'm still not declared awake from Wednesday, so anyway. Um, hi, sorry. Hi, Hank. So that's weird, Hank, because I resent this, and it has the the yeah. invite, and it has the 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 URL in it, but yeah. it seems like it's just not getting through to some places. We had that conversation yesterday. I, I have the ICS, I have the email, I have the event, but when I open the event in my calendar, it's empty. So I had to find the uh, event name in my inbox and then look at the content oh. of ICS and then I could prune it from there and then you posted it to me. So um, as, as we like... discussed yesterday, Google Calendar was my Kool-Aid that made me join Google and now it doesn't work very well. So I guess that means I should leave. Uh, okay. And I don't think we'll probably won't get way on Friday night at 11 p.m. at night, but um, maybe. Uh, they work fr Saturdays a lot there. Um, it's not a... The Worker's Paradise somehow doesn't have a lot of vacation days. Um, anyway, okay, so we have seven of us here. Peter doesn't have his mic on yet. Maybe he'll connect. There he is, Peter. Okay, so thank you to everybody who uh, took up the assigned uh, issues. And we have nine pull requests to go through today. Um, I don't know what... I think this is the lowest hanging fruit, but uh, no one else has reviewed it yet. Um so anyone want to nominate one that they and i'm back oh, again. oh okay right. dave are nominating your uh top three three seven the last one that you did is the first one to touch okay uh i th oh i had reviewed it oh yeah so it won't let me approve Unless uh, with changes, unless I tell you the change, and I already wrote the change, so. Um. Um, yeah, on your comment there, um, I will accept your change as long as you change N to A. A tamper proof. 
And, and actually, what will another typo? I just now yeah, see tamper proof. Yeah, I see that too. I, I, I saw it when you said it out loud. <laughs> temper proof. That would be a. Uh... That would just go to my wording. I'm, I'm over the temper. Yeah. <laughs> temper proof would be an interesting case, yeah. eh? <laughs> you can see your comment applied. Right, your comment applied even before. If you look at red 484 on the top, it already had that word. So. Your comment is not actually a comment of the pull request, but I do agree with it. So please go ahead. Oh, it was already in the. Oh, I see. It was already wrong. Okay, I didn't notice that either. Okay, so I will use actual English word. <laughs> um. So this fixes uh, three hundred. Yes. Yeah. So this just fixes this comment. Okay, I see it now. Sorry. Yeah. Admit it. Yeah, we talked about this on the call last time and I tried to do exactly what we talked about. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I got it right. Because I, yeah, I, I removed think... the A B C and replaced it with labels. And then it was also pointed out during the call last time that the four fifty eight was wrong even before and that we had missed that one. And so I fixed that line. Four fifty eight. There we go. Yeah. Four, yeah. Somebody caught that during the call last week. Okay, so now we have a solid example, real example. Um, I hope people can take the example so there, as uh, um, yeah. as an example rather than a come back and say, "Well, does it apply if if it's really a uh, uh, um, um, UFI rather than BIOS?" Right, and and I hope people yeah. will not be hung up on that. Now, point. there's a separate issue that this one does not address that uh, Penguin and I have been commenting on, which is the first one on the whole list. And it's easy to, without flipping, if you scroll up just to, sorry, scroll down just a little bit so you can see more of the picture. Okay. Um, the issue there that I will address in a different pull request, uh, it was observed now that it's actually clear um, that B is bootloader, right? You can see a line coming out of the attester environment and going up to the verifier that's labeled layered evidence for bootloader and kernel, right? So it's observed that bootloaders usually can't communicate directly to the verifier, right? And so right. that line that's... probably needs to come upwards through, say, kernel and then come up instead of coming directly out the side. It'll probably be changed to be going upward vertically up through the kernel and things because it would have to be passed on up to the kernel and then uh, either the kernel or an application would have to be the one that actually sends it or whatever. It's just signed by the attesting environment. So anyway, so that's in a different issue. I won't do it in this one, but I'll do it when addressing the separate issue. Okay. 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 Is that going to cause confusion where we've tried to avoid um, you know, circ circularity and trust? I hope not, but again, I'm, I'm just letting you know that I made this change here knowing that there's another change coming. And because that was a sort of ongoing comments back and forth between. Uh, 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 I, I want to. Well, my, my, my point is, is do we really need the change? Given that it seems to be trying to model a conveyance path, which, which, which is different from trying to model the trust path. Well, I so actually think it's even more subtle. On the other issue. I, I and, and I I would concur that that this doesn't have to be uh, physicality. It's it's yeah. it's the passage of information. I would say that better is to put some kind of a note right here, around yeah. here that says yeah. um, bootloaders clearly can't probably don't have network stacks, <laughs> so it it needs to be conveyed through another layer, uh, physically right. conveyed right. through another layer, um, and. That just acknowledges that, but but there could be other uh, layer A, right, or B in other scenarios where there actually is a path, right? If if that's really the yeah. hypervisor, right. not the ROM. Yeah. And so I think I so, like your idea, Michael, that it should be in text, not in the change the diagram, and it would help me remember that if we stuck a note into that other issue. So, okay, where, if that's an issue. It is. It's the first issue, and it's the lowest numbered issue that's still open. Yeah, the 293. And then scroll to the bottom of there where you can see the comments. We're talking about that. Um, yeah, there. And then just add a comment there just saying that, yeah.
I'm just trying to discuss. Uh, I see yeah, Penguin, you're on the call, right? I'm just trying to discuss your comment there, which I agree with. So, Logan. I'm here. I'm no. trying to understand uh, no what you guys are talking about. Exactly. My English is not very uh, well. Dead. Yeah, in response to your comment, Penguin, we're talking about just adding text to address that, but not changing Figure Three. That's in that that uh, may mislead, and we would change. We would do that not by changing the figure, but by putting text that explains uh, your your point and different ways that it could be addressed. Okay, I understand. But uh, I have a question that uh, if we use this layer uh, concept. Uh, so the evidence should be protected and uh, should be protected the confidential uh, integrity and the confidentiality. Is that right? That's right. Well, integrity, yes. Often confidentiality, I think, is what our text says right now. Is there are many cases the confidentiality is also important? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to commit this uh, mm -hmm. issue. And I added that other part. Thank you. And 300 is now closed. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's go to this issue. I'm just going to, you know, pick one top one from each person and we'll come around. Yeah. So, so sorry, Ned, I hadn't noticed that, that, that you were working on this one and did some of the same thing. And so you can feel free to abandon mine or merge it into this one or whatever. So, okay. so this is very simple and sweet. It has two references oh, to, to, it's deep not the arch, of. to Teep Arch and TCG Arch as references for it here and uh, Trusted Execution Environment. That's so non-controversial i think just go any objections i couldn't okay. find um, a, this is, I this is a, decent, yeah yeah i just to note i couldn't find a decent reference for embedded um secure element, uh, secure, secure element. <clears throat> so. uh there probably is one from global platform but i have to do some searching uh, did you look around the global platform site? I, I did, I did, but last time we said not to cite them, so I don't know. Oh, maybe I misheard. I, I, don't uh, I, 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 I don't think it was a question of. Uh, so, is the document public? I prefer citing things that are public because I they're, find they're, that they're public. Their published I mean, they're... specs are public. Their draft specs are not. So is this this would be something we'd have to find in a public spec? That's so, all. Yeah. There's there's sure. lots of public information and wikis and stuff like that. But uh, so the other question I was just looking up is what's the stat? This is an informative reference, so it, it's not going to slow us down. Um, but um, Dave, I thought that this document was further along. It doesn't even have a shepherd assigned to it. It hasn't done a working group last call. Which one? The Keep Arch? architecture. architecture. I don't know. It's, it, it's gone through the last call. If you're looking at the data tracker, maybe the data tracker is old or something. Data tracker is off. I, that's what I thought. It was much further along. So, so uh, I don't. It's, um, it's gone through last call. It's got a shepherd assigned. I think that's the current state. But I don't. The document shepherd doesn't. The data tracker doesn't say any of those things. Is what I'm trying to I, say. I, yeah, I know, I'm noticing that now. You, you are correct. Yeah, is, so, you are correct that it is that the, the data tracker does not have the latest state in it. Yeah. Okay. So, so I just I I I thought the point is I was trying to say is I I thought that this document was ahead of us in the queue and that we were likely to uh, uh, wind up referencing the RFC because but you know so I'm literally there's literally I have a document in auth for I have two documents in auth forty eight, but one mm -hmm. of them doesn't have a isn't quite in authority eight and one references the other informatively and i'm just like mm -hmm. oh it would be nice if it would just reference the rfc because it's probably not going to mm -hmm. get through beforehand but it's going to wind up referencing the id because they're not synchronized but it, it, anyway it, it, in this case i think we're now both about in the same state well so you no, guys, I, we've got that uh, t park has actually gone through two working group last calls with extra things so it's actually slightly ahead still Okay. Anyway, I, I this will be they, they automatically become references to the RFCs, yeah. assuming it's published. Yeah. Unless the unless the that 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 one document is still in the, 
also in process, in which case they don't create new, uh, you know, dependency, re- dependencies. Um, mm-hmm. But it is it is unfortunate because um, it doesn't wind up as a citation of the RFC in that case, which is unfortunate for that RFC. Anyway, um, it uh, we're merging this. I think yeah. there's no conversation. Looks good. Yep. Thanks, Ned. Uh, no mer- no conflicts. Confirm merge. Okay. And did that one close the issue? Probably. Sorry, I didn't. Um, uh, unless uh, we you didn't have really about embedded. Yeah, I'm um, looking for, for issue a uh, reference right now, but I can also okay. simply ask um, um, Jeremy. I mean, he should know. <laughs> That's probably yeah, true. It didn't, it didn't close the issue. Uh, closed by. Okay. All right, let's uh, go on to one by Hank. Oh. Okay, I've not reviewed this one yet, so let's review it on the screen. So, so what issue was this one addressing? Uh, that this was about conveyance mostly, and not mm-hmm. about the implications of trust model actually. And so I, uh, um, you said this is about secure channel UCCS, so you should do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Got it. So I added three sentences in a new paragraph, I think, and added a example given UCCS via a secure channel. So that term is not super, because we are always abstracting this in the text as a trusted conveyance channel, I think, or a secure conveyance Wh- channel. Which section is this in? What's the section title of this one? Uh, it's in trust model subsection verifier. Okay. Thank you. Um, uppercase on secure channel. Mm. Mm. Sorry, this is not defined here, of course. Yeah, lowercase. So the other joke is that um, the government of Canada spent over a billion dollars on something called secure channel in the uh, decade ago and um, uh, uh, took a, a $10 million report to even figure out what they had bought. Nobody knew. Someone figured out it might have been a set of, of TLS certificates that for each of the government departments, but they couldn't actually find that as a actual deliverable. <laughs> so, H- Hank, what's the title of the UCCS reference? Can you read me the title of the doc? Uh, unprotected. You mean UCCS is the unprotected claim set? Okay, no, I just want to make sure that the that the title of the document did not have something about via in the title, just to make sure that the no, EG no, 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 no. Okay, okay, gotcha. Okay. Uh, uh, so let me just reload that. Yeah. 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 So that line looks fine. Okay, so I rewrote this uh, nine eighty four. I found it really awkward. Uh, I removed some words, and I hope it preserves this the the uh, sense. With while being a little bit, I say less convoluted. I don't feel strongly about it. Yeah, it was a long one. I have to admit that, but uh, also I only had like I don't know half an hour. Um, so what you uh, I, I like I can live with um, a possessive uh, declination of terms being removed. Uh, although I think don't think it's about the trust the verifier. You're really trusting the verifier's capabilities here. Um, and then uh, I am fine with renders and I'm protected again. You don't know which uh, evidence you're now talking about. Uh, the sentence before also was start talking about just simply evidence to so qualifying it felt less ambiguous to me. And uh, at the at the end, I don't know even if the sentence, the sentence makes sense with, with removing the, the tail. So, so the tail I removed because I thought it always was the case that it's always believable at the time of attestation. In other words, that's not new. The fact that the that the that the yep. uh, evidence Again. has to be believable at the time. Well, that's always the case, and there's nothing to do with whether the the uh, the UCCS part, right? It's always the case. Yeah, 
I and I so I, uh, I've now read. I like Michael's wording better. Other than it needs a grammar fix, it needs the word uh, that in between trust and the verifier. But otherwise, um, I, I I find the meaning the same and trust Michael's wording. I think that is clear. trust is that. Okay. The verifier. Yep, yeah, that's a grammar fix. Yeah. But otherwise, yes, I agree with Michael. Your suggestion. Any so it comments? is not important that the UCC that, that the evidence is it is does not matter uh, that it is tempered with after um, uh, evidence okay. generation. The, the main point, that the reason I like it better, not one, that it reads better to me, but number two, the relying party actually has no idea whether the evidence was unprotected evidence via secure channel or trusted or, you know, secure or protected exactly. evidence. And and that, by the trust it. is exactly put into that fact. And, right, right. And so I think and that is why I Ma Ma so Michael's sentence nicely abstracts that out because it just has yeah. trust that it's capable of handling evidence, right? That's not unprotected evidence it's just evidence right it's both cases that's why i, I actually like it yeah, okay better. it's okay I, I don't say it's wrong it, it's like detail so, but maybe so, i'm into the weeds mostly I think, so, hank, so go ahead hank are you is the tail trying to point the, at the difference between time of check and time of use exactly that's a that's a concept we didn't we don't really delve into too much in this um, and it's fine to abstract that. Yeah. Uh, it's still included in the meaning. Yes. If you make sense of it. So uh, 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 I just assume that was sort of contained in the concept of freshness, which we've dealt with elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's why I felt it was just a little bit, the, the extra, that extra run on part makes, I think, and maybe the non English speakers in the room will tell me, makes me think that there is something else here that I'm missing. That isn't that is that is subtle and somehow I've missed it. And so I'm but I don't think that's the case. We're just talking about freshness. Um, and so, I think the major part about this is that. Uh, an independent because the evidence was not signed, the audit log of the verifier is not as good quality if if when it logs the evidence. Right. Because it could have have messed with it before it logged it. So, so there is a there is a concept that is nascent, having to do with the time at, at which claims are collected being different from the time at which claims are conveyed. Mm -hmm. And we don't we don't talk too much about that. We we talk a lot about freshness in the context of conveyance. Um, Did you have those both of them in the appendix for sure? I thought it was in the freshness section as well. This I, isn't I the thought so this too. is the trust model section, right? And so your points there are not about the core trust model per se, uh, other than the, the fact that it's abstracted it says you're trusting the verifier is going to do the right thing, right? Doing the right thing is elaborated in other sections. So I'm fine with there is fine and it's yeah. uh, you know, you know, the the detail of the subtle point isn't you know, does it probably shouldn't be addressed in this section, so it's okay to move on. But I'm uh, just trying to respond to Michael's concern about there may be a nuanced thing that we're missing. Right. So all I'm trying to say is that I don't think there's a nuance intended by this other than the things we've already said. But that extra little bit sort of tells me, oh, there's some nuance that I've missed and I don't know what it would be. And that's why I feel we should remove it because I don't think there's a nuance here that we're missed that we're that I don't think there's a nuance for untrusted uh, or unsigned evidence that is different in this case. Yeah, I agree with right? that. Okay, I have another minor point once you're done with that one here. Um, hey, go ahead. Uh, line 982 uses the term via a trusted conveyance channel. Whereas the earlier line says via a secure channel, I would like us to use the same term between those two sentences, whichever one we pick. I did not try to mess with the uh, uh, trusted conveyance channel because I think it is used in other text places yeah, also. I, I'm just noticing 976, you added via a secure channel. Yeah. And 982, exactly. you added trusted conveyance. You pick the same term, whatever it is. 
You could use trusted but conveyance then, channel up on 976. Yes. Or a secure channel down on 982. I prefer to use a trusted conveyance channel up in 976. Okay. Then we do not use the terminology from UCCS, which is fine. Yeah, but the, the example. Oh, okay. Hang on. Thing, so, but it's a ver it is a term coming from UCCS. That is why it's located at that reference for the example. Well, so why is it uppercase in UCCS? Is it uppercase? Um, in the text, yes. In the uppercase reference secure here, channel. Yeah, in, in in the UCCS uh, document, it is yes. What about? Okay, now we go and try to find the. Can yeah, we just change find... that back? So we know we're changing. It. Um, no, it's basically. A, right. I'm gonna pull up UCCS and look. Yeah. So I understand what you're saying. Okay. Here's Here's the, 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 so maybe, uh, well, maybe actually, so that would be IE. Well. <laughs> Is there any such thing as UCCS not over a secure channel? There's not, right? Um, there, no, that's the idea. A UCCS always implies the existence of a secure channel that is uh, right. very. So very, then, so you can just right. delete that phrase then, because UCCS is just a reference for appropriate conveyance of unprotected evidence. That is potentially correct, um, but I would. Okay, you, yeah, that is true. Uh, without that knowledge, you have to read the other document. Uh, with the, the three terms uh, words here or four, you can you can maybe make people intuitively get the context better. Um, that's why I edited it. Um, but I don't insist on adding it. You can still make people go to the other document. Of course. So it sounds like uh, I would find that better than introducing a new term that you then have to explain. That's fine with me. Uh, I'm, I'm still haunted by the readability aspect, and we reduce readability by that, I think. But it's fine. Uh, both because arguments it are says very it relies on the following conveyance protocols protection capabilities. And so those three bullets are already kind of defining what a secure channel has to do. Yeah, so you don't have to use the term, I guess, is my point. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm I'm still not happy about it because it's a thing conveyed by a channel. Well, it's two things. It's a UCCS and the channel. I I don't find it intuitive, but if you think it's better, the readability and, and I, not introducing terms. I, I think the readability is fine personally, given those three bullets. And then in 982, you come back and say, as illustrated in UCCS, an entity that receives unprotected evidence via a trusted conveyance channel. So you're already yeah. clarifying twice that UCCS uses a, a protected channel. Okay. That's fine, but I don't know what other people think, but uh, I, I just didn't like the two terms for the same thing appearing in the same section. So, mm -hmm. so what what is it? I don't know what we're what the solution is. I heard I, delete everything. Delete, delete that this. phrase right there. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's what okay. I'm proposing. Um, then just a question. This is not a request for change. Um, in 982, it says a trusted conveyance channel. Is there a difference between a trusted conveyance channel and a secure conveyance channel? The secure is a characteristic. Trust is a decision based on that characteristic. Uh, I agree. Okay. And here you're talking about the latter concept. In 982, you're talking about the latter concept, not the former, right? Exactly. Okay. Then I, I guess I'd look at that. I'm fine with it. I just want to understand. Okay. I, I think yeah, I'm fine with the, in the trust model section. I thought were yeah. important, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I approve. Okay. And it, that one closed the issue. Okay. All right. I didn't look. Sorry. Uh... number was it? I don't even know anymore. I have to look at the closed pull request to see. <laughs> and yes, it is closed. Okay, okay so um, 
Let's go to this one from me. Um, what happened to the top one? Did we talk about that one yet? I don't remember. No. No, we didn't. Uh, I, Never mind. No, Never mind. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I've just been going to what the first or the topmost one from each uh, Sounds good. person so we can. Yep. I approved of that one already. Cause... So, yeah. So agree to, we agreed to delete this paragraph. I didn't think there was any, <laughs> any controversial. Right. <laughs> it says delete the paragraph, so I deleted the paragraph. <laughs> that's, I looked at it and said, oh, that's easy. We already agreed on that. So Good. All right. So any objections? No. All checks have failed. Yeah. That's because there's a goof in the make file or something that I fixed in one of them. And hopefully that closed 302. Yeah, that's just because you have your magic keyword in there. Yep. Pull requests. All right. The top one, add definition of trust anchor store. Uh, there was the there was the issue, just trust and layered environment requiring introduction. He says, take it out. Uh, that's just explaining why uh, I think the PR should be merged and this issue should not be closed. Okay. Uh, because there's a related, uh, the alternative is I could file a new issue, which I yeah. figured a simple comment at the bottom of that one. So th this one does literally what uh, Hank um, uh, was complaining about, but there's a related closely issue that means it's probably uh, a additional change I should make. Okay. Great. Besides All the right. point that he made. So so we'll make sure it stays open. Um, yeah. And so tr the term trust anchor store appeared in two places. One up in uh, the architecture section and then one down in the role section. So in the architecture section, you can see the 451 red. And all I did there was I removed it and replaced it by a forward reference to the verifier section, okay? Because the two ways to establish it was already discussed in the verifier section. So rather than explaining it twice, I just did a forward reference to the place that had the longer elaboration about that. So that was the change at 451 is just replacing the trust anchor store sentence with a forward reference. And all the rest was in the verifier section. And the verifier section had a bunch of discussion of trust anchors, more than just what's on the screen. There's more up down below that you don't need. And so I tried to explain it the first use. Okay. Um, by so the first use was in um, I don't remember if it's in 950 or pro it's probably right below where it expands. And so I put the definitions up right before the use. And so the paragraph that starts at 941. Um, is the paragraph that is literally copied out of the uh, TEEP architecture document. And the changes before and after the paragraph are to make it read in context. So 4949 also includes the word trust anchor store. There's elsewhere in the document after this that can use it, but this is now the first use. The, the, the question mark in the RFC reference, is that marked down for something? That's marked down yeah, for it means, informative. It means yeah, it means automatically added as informative. Okay. So, I mean, so if, gonna... if you use the, the question is, if you use the question mark or the exclamation point, it means you don't have to list it in the beginning of your markdown. It's automatic, right? The, the processor does it for you. Or a question mark is informative and exclamation is normative. Right. So, um, it's also in 4949. Um, and I don't know if oh. that's a better definition. That's trust. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, trust anchor, not well, it might have stored further down. No, store is not in there. Key, no, it's not, eh? Wow, no, yeah, we really got to revise this document. Yeah. The, the, the no. one that I reference is the one that we decided to reference in T based on Russ Housley's recommendation, the yeah. 6024, okay. and that one does cut, does have both. Okay. So I was trying to not debate what should be the right reference only because the TEEP architecture has already gone through that debate and I was just trying to steal their answer. Works for me. Also, uh, RFC 6024 is named Trust Anchor Management Requirements, so pretty much on topic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. there you go. Really, okay. So I uh, isn't, isn't 6024, is that what it's written by Russ? <laughs> uh, no. It's always one of those cases where people know uh, 
which do, you know what terms are in documents they wrote yeah trust anchor management requirements no it's not written by russ it's already okay. and uh c okay. wallet gotcha uh, and all right from an era when russ might have been ad he, no, he, he was I think chair. that was when he no, yeah that he was chair then yeah I've never read this document. Okay. Let's put it on. I used to have a list of documents I should read, but then it got too long and, <laughs> yeah, it, got too long. <laughs> and it became useless. So, <laughs> right. so I'll explain so, it. At, at, once I did this, then I realized, so this is touching the places that use the term trust anchor. Okay. Yes. The reason okay. I don't want to close it is what I noticed is that the uh relying party section appears right before the verifier section has very similar wording but does not use the term trust anchor and so what i want to do is i want to move the definition up into relying party after i make the language match so relying party okay. needs to have similar wording because it has a trust anchor store too and then i notice that the security consideration section which has trust anchor store information in the tp architecture document we don't have anything any place that I could put that I could copy that, right? There's nothing in the in our security consideration section that has verifier considerations. We only talk about the um, uh, attester considerations. And so I would want a place in the security considerations to add another little subsection about um, considerations on the verifier slash relying party. And that's where I would copy the uh, trust anchor store considerations out of the TEEP architecture document. So that's what the two things that I do in a separate pull request. So, um... Definition of trust anchor store will get moved upward, so we referenced in the relying party section. In relying right party, yeah, section, and we basically then, cover a tester, then relying party, then verifier. Okay. Also yeah, so, referred to in, and then add a security here. considerations paragraph that talks about securing the trust anchor store. It's like one paragraph or something that, that I just need to copy in the right text. But all those were not fixing the original issue. It's now going to, once you merge this one, it will be clear what a trust anchor store is. Um, but yeah, so I think it fixes Hank's point, but I figure we can just use the same issue, so. Okay, works for me. All right, okay. so uh, that's done. So that one, I did not use the word closes in my keywords. I think I used the word addresses, and hopefully that does not close the issue. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, this is the one that I accidentally did some of the same things, and you should compare them because, see. Because this is in this one? Y yeah, that's the one. Sorry, I, I meant, sorry, now. So we've managed to, to leave them both. Duplicate the work. Is you did it earlier the same day, and I had already started looking at it, to, and then got back to it after I was out of a meeting and hadn't noticed that you finished it. And yeah, so Sorry. some duplication. Okay, so in no, this no, one, uh, we assigned it to you, so it's my bad, not yours. So, so in this pull request, Dave moves uh, appraisal policy and reference values down to here. In this and notably, request, you see one difference is the order. Um, so if you scroll down, you can see I did it with is as, um, version. with the appraisal. So I did reference values, then appraisal policies, and then attestation results. Uh, so Ned has and Ned values, has, attestation results, appraisal policies. Yeah, so he put the appraisal you, policies after attestation results. I had thought about it before because I my argument was just that it was not based on the text it was based on the order in which the arrows are listed in the data flow diagram meaning sort of from left or right and the so, text underneath the data flow diagram mentions them in a particular order and so i use that same order i i did not check to see whether the the text makes sense in context so that's why my mine may may not be right all right so dave you would be happy with us going with ned's proposal but you think well, that we might want to reorder it we can look at Ned's because um, he made another change that's not part of the reordering, which um, I at least wanted to discuss. So, okay, well, let's do that now. So, uh, I, all I did was the move, um, and so Ned did more than what I did. You you just moved the text and never changed, is what you're saying? Um, correct. That's correct. Uh, other than uh, the only thing that I changed in mine was the, the one sentence that's green three eighty nine. 
Okay. And I think uh, Ned has a different version of that. So just notice the the freight, my phrasing is three eighty nine. I think Ned has a longer piece of text there. But yeah, if the group wants to abandon my, I would be fine with that if people all like what Ned did better. So, um, all right. Don't all speak so at once. Here, this is a change that I said Ned did that I didn't see that this one was related to the moving of text here. Um, and to me, this changed a meaning. And so this was the part that I wasn't that happy about, even if I liked the rest. So. You can see previously there was three possibilities in Ned's green. There's four possibilities of which I claim the first two are the same thing. So the adding, you know, and I guess he changed um, might be to is in two of the cases. And so I just didn't understand the reasons for the change for this one. So I think the, the red text was fine. I don't have a problem with changing it if I understand what the problem is, but I just looked like it was. I, to me, it I doesn't get, renew as well I, as the original. I get the impression that this is something that is conveyed, and this is something that is configured. How is it configured? Like it's configured. You got to convey it to configure it. Right, well, no, it, but it's, it across a command line remote. Well, so yeah. So in one case, is in the second case, I have configured it with a command. In the first case, I have said, "Go get your appraisal policy from this place," right? Configuring and, it and trust it. Configured so by what, the verifier owner is a way of obtaining it from the verifier owner. So it can you, from his finger. So if you if you go to if you look at three eighty six, that language uh -huh. was is there already, but it's separated. It's under a different. It's under a different. Uh, um, uh, message type. It's not new. So it well, seemed it's... like it didn't matter. It didn't really matter which conceptual message. So we have different language for different conceptual messages. So I. Um, so the no, language that, that one has a very different meaning. Yeah. That, that one has a very different meaning. 386 is is I was going to ask you about this one too because these are two different things, and it's possible that 386 is not worded right. This means programmed into the relying party by you know hard coded by the relying party developer. So 385 is it's configured by the relying party owner. 386 is it comes from the relying party developer. Those are two different entities. Uh, but that would be wrong if it's programmed by the by the developer. If it, the developer was not working in, in under the under the delegation of the owner. Sure. No, it's not wrong because here there's use cases where people ship relying parties that might be headless, you know, IoT devices or something like that, and they are hard coded to have the verifier, for example, be the manufacturer of the device, which is also the, the, the programmer. And so then they sell it to somebody who's then the relying party owner. The relying party owner does not get to override the verifier, right? The relying party says, my verifier is the manufacturer, and sorry, you can't change that. Okay. Um, so that is that a would be, case of actual devices today. So the semantics would be that the there's two owners, and the the manufacturer is wearing the hat of the policy owner. It's programming policy. It's still an it's still an owner. Um, it's the, I I. It's a it's a it, it's a it's, it's a, a nuance, but it's a yeah. nuance, right? Um, that you could also take the view that that's not the case, where there's still a relying party owner that's separate from the manufacturer, they just don't get to decide who the verifier is. They get to decide other things, but they don't get to decide who the verifier is. And so yeah. they can't affect so, the appraisal policy, but they can affect lots of other things. Right. So ra rather than, uh, you know, we, we could write a much longer document about, about multiple ownership use cases. But it's probably inappropriate for this at this, at this time. An owner can change anything that's configurable. It's just saying may, the on the relying party, your attestation results may or may not be configurable. Unlike the verifier, your relying parties, the appraisal policy for attestation results might simply be: Did the verifier give it a thumbs up or thumbs down? Right, and no more configuration. And if you're in a, a small IoT device, that might be fairly common to to have very limited sets of functionality. So the right, so this, but we're in the context of describing what an what the appraisal policies are, 
right? And so it's confusing to say the owner of the policy can do all of these things except for when the manufacturer uh, does something different. And then it's still considered, you know, the, it's still considered appraisal so policy. The, the appraisal know, policy just, for evidence versus appraisal policy for attestation results. Yeah. So it's a very, it, the whole conversation is very nuanced. And, and it seems, you know, we introducing potential for confusion if we, if we sort of don't, we don't stick to the architecture. I agree. So why was this removed? Uh, because the word the wording was saying something different from what the architecture is saying. Uh, I don't think that's the case. So it certainly wasn't called on in the issue. As I, right now, we're technically discussing a different issue than three twenty five. So, but I just wanted to discuss we, it. I, I, so, I, so I, I, if it, we could it, separate this, I would merge one of them and not the other one. And yeah. Just, so that's what I was going to say. So it's it's primarily related to this part of the change, and all the way down to three eighty six. All the way down to here, yeah. Yeah. So, because this is yeah. not about moving the sections, this is about a different discussion that Ned and I are having. It wasn't intended to change semantics. Uh, I think both of them. The both the, 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 here they seem. They seem. Yeah. The, the readability seemed off. So, I, you know, maybe we so, separate so, it and have that so conversation. Ned, Ned said that yeah. the readability seems off, and he and he tried to fix uh, it. I won't and, dispute but that. Now we, but now, <laughs> and so, so we're agreed that we want to fix this. It's just the fix is not clear. But the movement of the text, the other text is good. So the question is, what can I do? Can I, I guess I can uh, put another commit on top well, of this that, let, that restores the text? Or what do you want to do? Well, let's scroll down. Let's put that on the stack for just a second uh, because there's two possibilities there. If you look at this part, the question is, do people like what Ned did here, or are there any issues that anybody else has down here, right? Because what we're trying to figure out is Ned had a different ordering of sections down here. Is Ned's ordering better than my ordering, which is sort of arbitrary, uh, just to match the order the things were mentioned in the architecture, the data flow, the architecture section, um, where Ned's is in a different order that may be more intuitive or something based on how you read it. Um, do people like this one better or the original? If for some reason people like mine better, then what one could do is one could use mine to do the reordering and then use NEDS to do the discussion that we were having. I'm not saying that that's the right thing. I'm saying that's a possibility. So. I find it arbitrary to me. I, I can't, I don't, I don't find, I find there's any specific okay. reason to do, pick so one or the like, other at this point. Yeah, so down to, 391 is that same discussion we were just having because uh, that's a related to the might be obtained or is configured and might be versus is and so on. Not the so red part, so the green part is part of that same discussion. So further down, 977 is new text that we discussed describing okay. conceptual messages. Uh, that, yeah, you know, let's look at that. So there were there were two lines in the overview that we're describing conceptual message semantics. So I pulled those out and then restructured and reworded them to make it hang together as a paragraph. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, at, when you're when you uh, yep. the result then was a reference values section that had one sentence in it. Uh, so I elaborated on that to add more clarity. I think that's, I like that. That probably looks and good. Then, yeah, and then the appraisal policies, um, I added a paragraph at the end to, to add more context to it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I, 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 I like the uh, paragraph on our conceptual messages myself. So, so that's, the, that's the main change. The ordering was you know, somewhat arbitrary in, in that reference values ought to follow evidence because they're kind yep. of this similar sort of thing and then all right so the policies just ended at the bottom for whatever reason okay that's what i was going to ask is because i'd put the appraisal policies in between reference values and attestation results because it uses 
evidence and a reference value since used to generate attestation results. And so in the data flow diagram, that's why it appears in between those two in that section, because it's the, you know, the order in which they're used, right? Yeah, I don't feel strongly about the ordering. No, okay. Well, I should say, let me correct what I just said, because there's two appraisal policies, right? One of them is used in between there, and the other one is used afterwards where you have it right now. So if you think about it, the appraisal policy for evidence is used in between reference values and attestation results. But the appraisal policy of attestation results is obviously used after the attestation results. So Right. And we have one paragraph for both. So it's Yeah, so that's why your, your, your placement would be, yeah, I, I think I agree with you. It actually doesn't matter either way. So it's whichever one reads better in the text. So... Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't have a preference on this one the, you, because of the it covers the appraisal policy for attestation results, then your location looks fine to me, Ned. Okay. So I guess I like Ned's changes of the order better than mine now that I've heard this. And I like Ned's change around the conceptual message paragraph intro. Um, I think I like my one sentence um, forward reference from the section that stuff moved out of. Um, and I think we're still discussing the other text that Ned did. So I don't know how to factor it. Because there's parts of Ned's I would like to merge now. So <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I'm just trying to get, make a piece, uh, a commit that we can just uh, merge that part. Um, okay. And... Um, so no, um, uh, there's a piece here, this, this is part, this is not, this is part of the controversial, this, 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 it's part uh, of the stuff we're discussing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to be sure that that's it. That, but then this part here below is the, 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 one the, you want the red. To yeah, the red goes away, but the green 388 to 391 is still part of the controversial stuff. That That's the part that I, th so actually I think that the green there is actually what goes with the red 386. I do. What, what, what? So, so the you part. At the top of your screen, the top of your screen where there's the red 386 we were discussing, the green yeah. 388 down at the bottom is what goes with that, right? Yeah. It's, it's these, just, these, GitHub these, shows these the dip is weird, right? If the it's GitHub just, showed green an, above the red, it would be actually more easier to understand instead of green below the red. The the red is showing the sections that move down, but to the lower, to the yeah. conceptual messages section. So what so, you're saying is that is that I should do I should be deleting this because it goes away, but I should correct. be retaining this because it's 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 not a a change. Okay, so let me see. Right, here. the green right, the the green is GitHub is matching the green with the wrong red, right? That green goes with the previous red at 386 and not the red that goes away. So you should accept the bottom red from 389 down, but not yet the bottom green, which should still be part of this issue. Okay. Um... And uh, so I'm going to go back to mine. I'm going to copy the one sentence out of it and then abandon it. Um, so um, in the 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 non-controversial, so I think I'm supposed to keep this hunk. So I'm supposed to keep this hunk uh, in in the the tech in the there so you're saying this if you're making a separate pull request then you can ignore the green because it wasn't in there before and it should stay in this issue not in wait well i, I are you creating I, one to merge or are you creating the one with the controversial stuff i'm trying to create one to merge okay then ignore so the moving... green and leave the green in this in the controversial part so i just think i need to i need to not insert that text that's right Um, 
So we have white space problems. Um, Okay, so what I propose to do, I can either push this non-controversial thing on top of this uh, in top of this pull request and make a new pull request for the other one. Is that, is that right? What shall I call that? Um, pull this other one is uh, issue 325, part two. So I am going to push uh, Oh, it didn't think it's the. It thought it was a new branch, a new, a new branch. Oh, because, oh shit. Okay, sorry, I got the case wrong on issue. What is this called? This is uppercase issue. Okay, I have closed my pull request, and uh, the two places that I had bits of text, I copied them into comments on uh, NEDS. Uh, that may have broken. Hmm? Oh, you have your, yeah, your thing here. Yeah. It just may not be in the right place, because I just pushed, I did a force push on top of this to, to do things. Okay, so... I think um, they're in the right place. Yeah, I'm just not sure. So, okay, so oh. you're inserting here, right here at 388, which is where you say, go see, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so because that's where we re remove text, and that's just a, adding a forward reference to say yeah. to the other section. So, yeah. Okay, so we have that. That's great. Um. And then I just wanted you to be able to see side by side Ned's text there versus my text there. I said I was fine with Ned's text, but I don't know if there's anything in my wording that people like there. Uh, if so, you feel free to you know merge between those two. Um, thing in my second comment there. Um, and um... let's see what yeah you deleted a blank line at three seventy seven. Is that was that intentional? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that was intentional. That was in the th in the th in there, so I can put it back. I think, yeah, probably put it back. Okay, I'm putting it back, and um, that's why I'm doing this. My editor, um, and then you had I missed. Uh, you have um, yeah, so green is the text that uh, Ned added, and my comment had the text that I had put in there. Uh, I don't know if there is anything in mind that we want to merge into NEDS or not, but I wanted people to be able to see them side by side. So I just want to make sure I've got the references. Messages no. are here. 
Yep. Okay. So I just was worried that that had that had nope. uh, that nope, the reference I did not was wrong. There. I was reusing things already tagged. Yep. Okay. So read nodes, read mine, see if you want to just uh, ignore mine, or if there's any of my text that you want to merge into nodes. Is... Okay, so then um, okay, so I've restored the blank line, um, and uh, and then your other comments, Ned's other comments, are now I hope. I do this right. Are now here. Okay. Does that look right to you. Okay, so we're over time. Um and uh I will read these two and tell you what I think. I don't that's probably the best way. So you put your comments there. Sure. And I thought I already dealt with this. Yeah, high conversation. That that was it. That was only the only only for this one data flow. That was the only change. Um, that is the only thing that Ned did differently than me. And I wanted uh, right. any comments on whether there's any of my text you want to do here. I am fine with merging this one, but uh, if people like any of my text better, you might want to put this in the same PR before merging it, but I'll let you guys decide that. I mean, I've got, okay. a, I've got a drop in the meeting. All right, yeah, so okay. let, let's come back to, to this, but let's, uh, I would love to, yeah, so if, if, if give us some uh, reaction to here, and uh, yeah. then I'd like to close, I'd like to merge this one uh, by email or- Okay, whatever. sounds good. All right. Okay. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Bye-bye. It's great. Bye. Great weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you.